Okay, still on the topic of taking disadvantages in games and how we pick ourselves up, if anything, even if you feel like you need to pick yourself up or not. And it's really, for me, chess is, is a brilliant game to actually look at improving your character, in a sense. Not everybody will see it that way. You know, everybody has a different take on chess. You know, some people cannot stand losing. They will, you know, I cannot believe that I lost against this person or that person, blah, blah, blah. Um, and there's others that will just go, well, it is what it is, you know. And at the end of the day, um, if I'm learning from it, then that's all good. That's all good, you know. Take something away from the experience. So the, oh, let's castle. So the element of chess really and truly for, well, what's going on here? Let's go here. Is really about, for me, personal development. And it's always an ongoing, a growing thing. And I think I like what's happening here. Let's go here. It's always a thing for me. It's like a crucial aspect of taking a strategy a plan an idea working on it and if it fails it fails then you, you dust yourself off and then work on i don't think that's happening and then you work a different way try a different strategy that's why it's just evolving all the time and the more players you play the different styles of players that you play it creates a kind of what's the word now a more humble approach to it because everybody plays differently you might think the style is the same but the actual movements of the pieces etc is slightly different you know they have a different sort of thought process so every time you're playing a, a different player it's a different new experience of chess that you're getting involved in so just capture here capture here that's pretty straightforward um, not putting much for oh let's grab this baby and um, see how we grab on this looks pretty similar to uh, one of the games that we had today let's attack the no let's not let's um try and own a file yeah pure out and out development ooh, is a key thing for me anyway, in getting a better understanding of the chess. This way I can come straight back on here now after playing the two games today. And I'm actually playing to see, see whether or not I'm going to get disadvantaged. But as we've seen, I've played the first game already and went even put full concentration in and we're getting advantaged. Um, want to own the file, so let's just see if um, there's going to be an exchange taking place. Probably not, maybe he's gonna just sit it here. Oh, he does take. Okay, let's go here. This doesn't mean we're winning anything. Our knight is kind of trapped in here, so gonna have to move it out. Can't get to here. Rook's looking to go here, but obviously he's seen that. So, our rook doesn't have much left to do. We can move the king across a little bit. So it's not a very active position for us really because we can't get anything but it's having to babysit the pawn with the rook so that's a good thing i don't think i'm the only one that thinks like oh over the board playing is um totally different to playing online i think that has been said quite a few times even from like the experienced uh, you know, the experienced streamers do we want to come down we're attacking this pawn but his bishop's oh his bishop can't actually take because we've got the x-ray through so we can take the pawn so he's gonna have to move his king offline to upset the apple cart and are we trapping our rook Woohoo! gonna have to move it here yeah it looks a little bit tight for us now i can see a picture building What did we say? Yeah, he saw that 
We can take because we've got a check on his king, but then his bishop can actually take. So I'm going to have to move my rook to here. That's the only place. I can come here and attack this pawn. But then my rook is just in the centre of the board. His rook's just going to come down and protect it. Let's go there anyway. Bring the knight up here, put a check on. Attack in the pawn as well. Give them something to think about. Although really and truly going there, my knight's going to get trapped into it. There's no way I'm not safe. Let's go here. Drops down. We take. And then somehow his rook comes across here. I suppose the knight can come back again. It's got protection with the pawns. It's not having any of that, so this person... Oh, the bishop again. X-rayed through. And we're going back and attacking this pawn. It's a different situation, but it's the same principle. So the king's going to have to drop again. Obviously, they, they saw... Oh my gosh, they haven't seen it this time. Let's take... It's amazing how we're changing the position, but the principle's still the same actually works out they'll be like trying to take it and take it but but it's also amazing because they saw it the first time but with the rook being over here psychologically it's um changed the pattern in their head see the way i'm talking now you know <laughs> you're thinking well wow did you lose those two matches today it, you know, it's one of them things. I mean, the guys were good, you know, and they were blocking off everything that I was attempting to put in place and they did better maneuvering of their pieces. For me, it was a case of probably not sticking fully to what I believed in my calculation, which is, as you know, we... I, sh I should be following my calculation properly now. I'm, I'm believing in it because we've been doing it. We've been doing the answer process, the mantra and all that sort of stuff. And I did use it, but I then strayed from it in terms of the decision that I made because I went, well, they're not going to do it. Where's he going? Look, can come here. Has he done something? We can go like this, can't we? Attack both. But then he comes down with a check on our king, but then we just move up. Let's give that a try. Oh, hurt me. God, they must have seen that coming a mile off. Oh, dear me. See how fast I jumped into that then? <laughs> okay, so there's nothing immediate happening there, actually. I don't need to sweat anything. Do, 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 do. How do we play it though? Because my rook's just going to stay there forever. Let's just attack this pawn. Act like that doesn't mean anything. And just move the king here because obviously if the rook comes down, it's a checkmate. So they're moving a bit swift now, like all the answers have been given. I can't go here, can't go there. My rook is jammed. Oh my word. Oh, that's too fancy, isn't it? That was too fancy. But in order for them to develop in the game, they're going to have to move these pieces. They're going to have to move something. Because we have a poor majority on this side, so if he wants to take advantage of that, yeah, he's going to have to move. If we take, we lose the rook. Come on, what's the science? What's the science? Move. Move. So he's going to get a pawn. Let's go here. He's going to get a pawn with the bishop. That's the way that we're playing this one. Alright, grab. Let's attack 
two pawns ourselves. Comes down, push up. It's going to get his king involved. Takes one, let's take on this it's probably coming back to defend this now or pushing this pawn okay and um, last but not least let's attack the bishop active king push to get the king around here somewhere not knight sorry around here it's gonna push down sink the knight in there pawns are on white squares sinks the king in here and come down for the bishop bishop hides somewhere so potentially it looks like a draw let's just go here protecting the pawn And also attacking the bishop. Mm -hmm. Bishop could go in front here, but it's not get taken. So it's going all the way, maybe here, maybe here. Okay, so it's gone away. Any checks on their king? No, any checks on the pawns? Not at the minute, just keep that nice and happy. And no, 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 no. Don't want to just sit there doing nothing. Knight comes around to attack the pawn. While we're doing that, his pawn drops down. He takes, his king takes. Gonna have to do something, so bring the knight up. Hmm, well, they've gone into the tank here a bit, haven't they? Okay, so I'm going to come here, but then I suppose in a way, do we get... don't want to... No, because he's still protecting. Here, attacking the pawn, but the bishop can just come here. And then he's controlling all of these. And can we swing here? that we're losing out somehow I'm going to attack the pawn see what happens but he's now controlling all this diagonal so the knight can't jump back here so we'll have to get out try and get on back on a white square somehow and jump back in here so it could be a draw in essence unless of course he's going to be brave and push does it oh my gosh he's been brave and pushed we take king takes So we've got a check, we've got a white square to jump maybe to somewhere. Round, still have to end up on a dark square. Ooh. I think he's going to be loving his pawn, so he's probably coming down. Yeah, he's loving his pawn. Let's get into here. Drive it down here maybe. Down there, 
there, so it goes back again. So it looks like it's going to be a draw, I think. Yes, of course, it's going to be brave, but I don't think so. See, we, there's no point us jumping onto a dark square. He's got the dark square bishop. Ooh. White square. King comes there. Oh, and then we get his bishop off the board. Woohoo! Interesting times. Let's go here. So, don't want me to get into here. So, I think his king's going to go there. And we're going to get the bishop off the board. That's what I believe is going to happen. No matter how long they're going to take over this thought process, that's what I think they're going to do. Oh, same thing. Same thing. Oh, that's a shame. And so we'll get the bish. <laughs> we said exactly that, didn't we? Um, just move here so then we can just take the pawn. And do, do, do. You see, I'm making it sound easy, aren't I? Um, but really, at the end of the day, these are a different caliber of players that to what I play over the board. That's as simple as I can put it, you know. There's nothing different that I'm doing in my games that I'm playing online to what I play over the board. You have seen some of the over the board games that I have played and there's some kind of brilliances in some of them. But there's not brilliances in all of the games. Just like playing online as well. I'm really wanting to get this pawn but where do I need to be? I need to be here. Put a check. Does that get it? And that get it? Yeah, that gets it. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can simply move the pawn, but uh, let's go here. We're trying, we're trying. And we get the pawn for free. Damn, I feel sorry for them to keep landing in the fork position. And then we can just hide here. And obviously we can go for this pawn now. So we might resign now. Oh, maybe not. Well, he can't go there. He's looking for a stalemate type thing, isn't he? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he's looking, he's hiding around the back here. Oh, he's taking a pawn, actually. Dude, put a check on. Alright, we're fast enough. Can you can still move, can't you? Yeah, there we go. You can still move. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, so that was an interesting game.